Hi, today I'm going to show you how to upload your references into Microsoft Word so that you can easily do in-text citations using the default reference manager, um, sorry, citation manager inside Word. So for this video, I'm going to be using Mendeley because that is what I use, but any reference manager that's out there will be, um, will do the same thing. We'll have the same functionality and it should be a fairly easy interface and transition to take what I'm showing you here today and apply it if you use Zotero or EndNote or RefWorks. Um, or if you can just write your own .xml file. So, uh, what we have here, I'm already in Mendeley. You can see that uh, it's opened up to all my references, but if you wanted, you could do a subset of your references if you already have them partitioned out into little folders. Nothing that stops you from doing it that way. So here we go. I'm just going to do all of them. And when I click this button up at the top, this is the select all button in Mendeley. And you can see that this uh, bar comes across the bottom, 728 references are selected, and it gives me the option to export. You can export the references in various um, file formats. We're going to choose Microsoft Word as our XML format for today. And it's going to ask you if you want to save the file, open the file. We're going to save the file. It's going to save it as export.xml. All right, it's all saved. So now I'm gonna open up my Word file that I have available, it's a blank. And we're gonna go into the References tab, which I already have clicked on right now. And from there, we're gonna to go to Citations and Bibliography, because remember, we're using the embedded um, default reference manager and citation manager for this one. Um, I have a separate video to show you how to use this with a plugin but that's a separate video. All right, so we're gonna click on Manage Sources. And this window should pop up called your Source Manager. If you've ever used the Microsoft Word uh, Citation Manager for doing your bibliographies, you should probably, or you might see um, some of your previously used citations in here. It will save them for you under what's called a master list. But we're going to click on Browse, and I, you see I already have one um, from a previous um, time that I've done this, but we're going to actually go into, just to show you how easy this is, we're going to open up my file explorer here that's already opened up to downloads, and you can see that the export.xml XML file is already there, so I'm just going to move this slightly to the side so that when I select export.xml and then I press on it with my mouse key, I can slide it over while holding the mouse key down on the file and it will move it into this uh, subfolder. So that's an easy way to just transition the file over into this open, into the source list folder without having to really um, hunt and peck for where it is. Okay, so we're going to click OK now. With it selected, we want the export.xml file to be selected when we click OK. And now you'll see all of my references and all of your references on your computer that are now available. But in order for them to show up on under the list when we do insert caption, so like if I just close out right now, okay, and click on insert caption, Oh, not insert caption, that's wrong. Insert citation, sorry. There, there nothing, there's nothing listed here, right? So what we have to do is we have to go into Manage Sources. So obviously you would do this in one step. You wouldn't close it out. I just wanted you to see that. And let's select about, I don't know, maybe these, this one, I'm gonna hold down the control key and select a couple of them. You can select all of them, but this is a lot of references and it'll, it'll be a bit, much. So I'm just going to select maybe like 10 of these. 
use my bad one because it's one of the caps. And I'll delete that one. And then I'm going to click this copy button and it's going to copy them over to this current list. So now when we click close, let me go back here, you can see that now they're there. All 10 or so that I highlighted and copied over into the current list. That makes them available for you to now insert in whatever style um, Microsoft Word has available to you. Now that we have this in here, now you can do this for as many citations as you want. So one thing to be careful of whenever you're importing in uh, anything from your reference manager is not all your references will have all the correct metadata saved properly in the import of the citation, especially if you're not importing in a .ris file or .bib file directly from a publication source like um, ScienceDirect or Taylor & Francis, but kind of having the importer read the PDF. Um, it'll miss things and you won't notice until you go to import them as a citation and then you won't get all of your data showing up. So that's something to be careful about um, whenever you're doing this. Um, I've just known that to be a an issue no matter how you do it, whether you're doing the plugin, you're doing this way, or um, working in LaTeX. So that's just something to be careful about, but that's it. Now you have your citations. All right.